Hey guys, welcome to day 170 of my carnivore journey, where we are closing in ever so rapidly on the six month mark, where I'm going to be doing weigh in and body measurements to see what progress we made since day 150. Like uh, we we do it every th I do it every 30 days, and uh, we'll we'll see. So, um, but today for my update. I ended up having one of those weird days. I did have a couple beef hot dogs for lunch. And I really want to stop doing that. I, I really need to just really make some hard boiled eggs um, and have them and start taking them into work. I just, I don't know. I, I just haven't taken that the little bit of time to do it. And I should, I really need to get back to that. Cause I miss, I miss my hard boiled eggs. Um, but I had a couple of beef hot dogs. And then for dinner, I had the three, four, five, six. And so some of you are probably going to be like, that's like a horrible name for something. And you're right. You're right. It is. <laughs> so I just happened to think about it when I was like, what do I even call this dish? Um, but it's this right here. It is three hot dogs. Four pieces of bacon, five ounces of cheese, and six eggs in an omelet fashion, basically, with the hot dogs and the bacon on top, cheese is in the omelet. But yeah, it's um it, it just kind of worked out that way. Now, look, I'm not saying you should eat this all the time or whatever. And like I said, actually, when I got there was a, a few bites toward the end, it was starting to get a little um a little too much. I don't know if it was just the combination of bacon and hot dogs, maybe just too much salt, but my body was definitely like starting to be like, yeah, I don't know about all that kind of salt content. I really didn't salt the eggs much. So, but then when you take a little bit of salt in the eggs, plus I added some tablespoons of butter in the eggs. Like when I went to fold it over with the cheese, I put a couple uh, pats of butter in there, folded it over, and the butter, of course, was salted. I, I always use salted butter. So that, and like I said, with hot dogs and bacon, a lot of salt. Um, so uh, probably a little too much. So I would suggest to anybody, if you're going to do that combination, if you're going to make the three, four, five, six, um, maybe maybe hold off on the butter and salt in, in your eggs, or at least use unsalted butter and not salt the eggs and then the bacon and the hot dogs will make up for it. Cause you'll have like a bite of hot dog and a bite of um, egg. You'll have a bite of bacon and bite of egg or whatever. But, um, but in any case it was, um, so the reason why I did this is this was a quick dinner. So, you know, for those of you, this is one thing I want to kind of bring up tonight as far as like, I, I try to bring up a subject to talk about, that might help people each night. I try to not, not always. Sometimes they're just updates, but one tip is preparation, right? I had actually had some bacon in the fridge. So that helped. I had eggs on hand. Eggs are always a quick meal. Okay. You can always crack open a few eggs on a, in a pan real quick. And it literally doesn't take much to, to fire that up. Uh, again, having butter, you know, having the, having some stuff on hand is good. Now, originally I planned to have a burger tonight, but I had to go to my son's award ceremony for school where he got, you know, MVP for tennis and he got uh first like all conference and stuff. So it was really cool. It was a good, good awards um ceremony but it was long and i didn't get home until it was like 9 45 i walked in the door the clock was like 9 45 i was like oh my god and i knew i had to leave in exactly a half hour so i had 30 minutes to like change my clothes use the restroom and make dinner and eat it and all that before i had to leave again so it was going to be a quick turnaround. That's why I'm recording this kind of late also, because I wasn't going to be able to, to record my, my daily vlog right after dinner. So I just was like, man, what, what should I do? And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do some eggs. I got bacon in the fridge. 
I got those hot dogs. Um, and, and like I said, it's it's instant stuff like that or quick stuff like that. So it, it just really helps. I, I threw the pan on the stove, started heating it up with just a little bit of bacon grease and started cracking some eggs into a bowl. I want to do like scrambled egg versions, like like did that. And while I was doing that, I was microwaving the, the I warmed up the bacon, like put some on a paper towel and a plate and was doing that whipping up the eggs and then as soon as the bacon was done threw the hot dogs in there for a minute or two while i was cooking the eggs so everything just kind of worked out um quickly and then the eggs were was after i fried them up real quick you know until almost like an omelet fashion i said and and also diced up like five ounces of cheese put it all in there fold it all and like i said i had this nice uh cheese omelet with um you know, bacon and uh, hot dogs. So I just wanted to get some meat in there and, and I didn't want to eat all my bacon or anything like that. So I just thought I'd just mix it up a little bit because, you know, you can dice up hot dogs and throw them in your omelets or whatever. But in this case, I just had three uh, beef uh, hot dogs from Nathan's and um, just had them off to the side and I just would cut them and have a bite, you know, anyways. But that's what I had. That was my day was two hot dogs. So all, all together, I had five beef hot dogs today, four pieces of bacon, six eggs, and um, some cheese, you know, so I'll, I'll have it all in the, the description like usual. Um, everything else felt pretty good today. I'm trying to think if I, if I, I don't think I went poop today. I'm not sure. I don't remember. So if, if I don't remember, then it wasn't significant. So Nothing on that front to tell you. Um, again, carnivore is a good lifestyle. I'm telling you, now that I am in closing on the six-month mark, I can just tell you I'm not quitting. I'm not quitting. Now, for some of you out there, you're going to watch this, and, and maybe you haven't started carnivore. Maybe you're just starting carnivore. And in the back of your mind, or even in the forefront of your mind, you may be telling yourself, man, how am I going to make carnivore work? I'm going to get sick of eating meat. You know, how am I going to do this? I mean, I got to have a variety. Well, I found a video today and I'm going to share it on the website. Uh, I don't know if I'll have it up tonight, um, but this is a young man that uh, is doing some carnivore coaching and stuff. And he really made sense of like fatigue, like food fatigue. And he actually explained it. And then he even explained how to not get food fatigue. And so he eats his like steak like every day and, and he doesn't get tired of it. But he explains w how that happens and what he did to fix it. And his fix and what he did really makes sense. Okay. So if you're thinking to yourself, man, I don't know if I could do this because I'm going to get sick of eating the same things or whatever. Look, there's a lot of variety. Don't get me wrong. You can still do, even though carnivore is a real restricted lane, so to speak, there's only so many ingredients, but there's a lot of combinations you can do and, and you can make it different things, but you're going to have to watch this video and um, you'll see what I'm talking about. And if I can, I may even, I might even link it below. I hate to just bring something up and then have you guys be like, what, where is it? So I may try to link it down below. And if you can try to watch it, but I'm going to put it at the, in the website too, uh, maybe tomorrow, uh, maybe tonight, depends. But um, the website, allcarnivoreinfo.com, guys, I want to also shout out to that. I, I don't, I haven't been shouting it out lately, but guys, all carnivoreinfo.com, please come by. I know a bunch of you that watch me. I know a bunch of you watch other carnivore channels and I'm telling you, please reach out to me, share some links. Guys, I need help building this website. I need you guys to be the eyes and ears for me out there. So when you come across a good informational video, something you like or testimonial or anything on the carnivore stuff, you know, on YouTube or whatever, let me know, guys. 
send me that link. Go to allcarnivoreinfo.com. I know you know it. And hit the contact form and send me that link. Or you can email me. Believe it or not, I I have an email. It's like allcarnivoreinfo um, at gmail.com. So you can just email that. Or you can even go to customer service at allcarnivoreinfo.com. Um, so you can hit me up on those and you can even hit me up on my everything paranormal show at gmail.com email if you really wanted to, but hit me up, send me the link and say, Hey, I really like this video, or this would be really good for the website, but guys, I need that out there. And I haven't really been getting a lot of submissions lately. Like when the website was new and I was talking about it, you guys were really good about it at first, but now I haven't had many people sending me, um, new videos and links, but I really want to continue to grow this. So I've been having to spend even more time trying to find videos and things to put up there. So, but guys, you guys are, are my best uh, ally. So you guys are out there watching videos like I am. And some of you are watching other people and other, other things that I'm not watching. So when you come across those, it really helps me out. So I'm just letting you know, I'm just throwing it out there guys. But I really appreciate you all. Again, I love you all so much. I really hope you're doing good on your journey. Um, I know some of you have been reaching out and sort of asking for help. And and I hope we, us as a community, because I know some of some of the viewers have been responding before I even get to them. Um, and that's awesome. So you guys are helping out other people in the comments. And I really appreciate you. I really do. And, but if, and, and that's what we're all about here. If you guys have any questions or concerns, hey, say something in the comments. Somebody's going to help you out. And yeah, we get a couple naysayers every once in a while. And I'm talking about you, Jose Mama, and uh, Bill Double Wobber. I know a couple of you guys like to pop in there so often with your anti-carnivore messages. And, and I get it. Like I'm, I'm always up for healthy debate. But at the same time, this this type of forum is not really for that because, as you guys know, this is just my diary. I'm just here to give you an everyday perspective of me going through this journey and doing the best I can to help you guys also. But I'm not really here as a scientific debate platform. Like, if you want to debate, like, if you're like, hey, Josh, quit doing what you're doing and eat fruits all the time. Well, guess what? I'm not going to. This is my channel for me going through the carnivore journey. Okay. So it's not that I'm being closed minded. It's just that this is what I want to do. I've researched it for a couple of years. I know what I'm talking about, but I'm not the kind of person that's going to get up here and spouse out, you know, a scientific bunch of information. I know about a lot of this stuff, but I don't memorize it. I'm not going to sit up here and be like, well, this chemical does this, and this is why your reaction. Blah, blah. No, I'm just going to tell you how I feel and what I know. If you guys want to get educated on it, we have resources for that, and there's other channels for that. You know, actual doctors, you know, Chafee and Barry and Baker and all these guys. They're 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 great guys. They'll give you all the information you, you can use, or they, they'll, they're great, and they can shoot down all your comments. But if you're in there just kind of like, saying this and saying that and like being anti-carnivore well, that's cool you have that right to do that and i don't mind that but at the same time it's like this isn't that place so you can try to debate me all you want it doesn't matter i've already i've already researched and and i know a lot more facts and a lot more studies and things like that it don't bother me like the things you say it's like okay cool whatever like it's just you're just being ignorant you know and then that's cool Go, go educate yourself. Uh, but for the rest of you, amazing carnivore loving people. I love you guys. And we will see you tomorrow as we inch ever so closer to that 180 mark. All right, buddies. See ya <laughs> buddies. I, give you, I said that. All right, buddies. <laughs> All right, buddies. <laughs> All right, buddies. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Buddy.